This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, and we're definitely excited to bring you another very interesting episode of the show. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchor with me, Ife Olua Oshunkeye. Yeah, that's me. And Nimi Dekombi. Hey, guys. I like the fact that you pause where you call my name. See, this, 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 this is you know you very dramatic. My dear, you need <laughs> to be like much. Too. This is your lashes. I'm just saying it. Exactly <laughs> what I told you. Right? I'm I just said, saying your lashes. This one is 5D. Thank if you. it gets ah. too hot, you just pull it out and find yourself. Oh, ah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. You look good. Thank don't mind you. if you're, he doesn't understand these things. He's a man. It's I don't understand this hustle. It's a grind. It's not a hustle. She's just looking uh, good. This is a grind. As in, also not something that this is very, this is serious hard work. Is your work. lashes not paying you? If you ask no, me. So why are you wearing them? So your lashes pay you. I can wear too. <laughs> to make you beautiful. I can wear lashes okay, too. Okay, let's just move on because we have a guest. You know, let's touch on um, some topics before we move on to that. Um, this generation is really going to stand out as the generation that brought about change. What a time to be alive. What a feeling. And this is coming from media personality to Kemar Kenwa. And um, the bloggers are saying that this is her reaction to the many protests, global protests, Black Lives Matter, seeing no to rape and all that going on. So... I don't know why I'm not as optimistic as she is, but yeah. Mm, I think um, we're on the same page on that because I'm not totally optimistic because especially in this part of the world, um, mm. maybe in America we may, we may and we may, may. not. Like it's, a big it's, may. A, it's, it's a probability if, we, if racism is going to be copped, is there's going to be a law that will be passed against racism, we, yes. But in Nigeria, it doesn't cut it for us to go to... Um, to, to the police headquarters with banners and we think we're doing a pro yes it's good we're speaking against rape but i think um until the law is passed that rapists would know that if i'm charged for raping anybody i'm going to be castrated i'm going to be spending i'm dead by anger spending your life in jail is not a good enough punishment i think they should bring back the capital punishment for rape, so rape. yes it's it's <coughs> deserving to bring it back so uh, i don't think i don't know any, about that I don't, um, I don't i would not really advocate for capital punishment for any for reason. rape um yeah I, I, I get how emotional that can be for exactly. a lot and you as well so yeah that's cool um but i think some things are being done. At least they had the conversation in their plenary session was the last week. Yeah, exactly. And like you said, we want to see actions, not just this conversation. Mm -hmm. So what laws are they passing to make sure that anyone who uh, perpetrates such evil will definitely pay for it? I mean, I'm waiting to see something that would give me that rush to say, yes, we've done something. I'm yet to see it. So until then, I don't know. This is just an optimistic A lot of people might time. feel like it sounds barbaric for you to be advocating for such punishment, such as castration, capital punishment. But don't you think it's barbaric for anyone to force a woman against the will? It is barbaric. So let's check barbarism with barbarism. All right. So for me, I think I, I actually... <laughs> I agree with what um, Toke Makiwa said. I'm actually very proud to be in this generation of young people because for me, I think that we are a generation that is speaking out. We are calling out the ills in our society, whether you like it or not. Some people might say that we are not acting enough, but I think that to an extent, compared to maybe the older generation, our generation is more conscious. We are willing to unlearn so many things. We are willing mm. to learn new things. We are willing to grow. Mm. We are willing to imbibe new cultures and let go mm. of some things that are harmful that we've been that have been passed down to us. Mm. So for me, I'm actually glad to be a part of this generation because we can see people actually standing up for the things that they believe in and not backing down on their beliefs. So for me, that's something that that, that is encouraging. That is something that that is very very that that gives me optimism that there is a change coming and i believe that there is a revolution we had Niger. coming we had occupied are you talking about like protest against yeah, bad governance and nothing nothing is done surely when but whether served, you like it or not served the truth time is that we are actually sake. we are actually trying we are doing what we can people are protesting people are mm. going out there people are making their voices heard. we're trying though they are not we're silent it's, about the basically it's a good society. time to be alive right it is a honest. good time to be okay, alive let's touch on this next one um this one says how does a young man have so many expensive cars 
including items and accessories without a known job. I know I don't have money and you can insult me, but it will never make sense to me how people continue to farm and celebrate people with crazy, unexplained wealth. So many young people don't want to work, do the hard work. They just want to drive the latest bands, date the most beautiful girls or guys, and enjoy life without any serious, legit work. Continue doing the small businesses. Don't worry. Let them call you Kobo Kobo. At least you're not a thief, and your Kobo Kobo will all add up one day. And this is coming from career and personal development coach, Dipo Awujide. Yes. This is the true definition of a good name is better than silver or gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are you laughing after saying it's so serious? <laughs> no, serious? No. no, no, no. But it's the truth. No. Um, <laughs> I totally agree. Okay, with let's just put it out there also that this is a reaction from to the many tweets to the arrest or the alleged arrest because I, I don't know how to really um, confirm that. But I mean, there are several sources, but I would say not the sources I would like no, to No, it's up. confirmed. Like, it's okay, we haven't confirmed gotten. Confirmed from who? We haven't gotten a post from the FBI yeah. or the Interpol. <clears throat> so, yeah. so, until I get that, it's just I, I, I don't know. The they're all, yeah, so mm. this is a reaction to that to raid that's or to the alleged raid. Yeah. yeah. I think in Nigeria, for me, I think that we have a culture where we just we celebrate. We celebrate people that are rich, yeah. we don't ask them questions. Even you look at our politicians, some of us, we even know that these people, the reason why they are rich is because they are stealing. But when they go to certain spaces, you see everybody bending forward, backward to please them. Nobody is speaking up or saying anything. Nobody is challenging how they made their world. It's a culture that is very, very pervasive in Nigeria. Nobody questions anybody. So far you have money, it stops nonsense in Nigeria. It places you above other people. Whether money the money talks. is... Whether the money is made from legitimate means, whether it is made from illegitimate means, mm. in Nigeria, the most important thing is you shall have money. It doesn't matter how you made the money. And that is a problem. <laughs> For me, I saw a news that blew my mind this afternoon. And it's that all Jesus or Kalu is back to the house. Yeah, exactly. I yes. saw, I saw That's, You know, it's a blow my house. mind. That was actually <laughs> mind blowing. And I, I was as the chief whip, he still maintains this position. Like, as I, the chief not, whip. Um, I just paused like, for a minute. And nothing. I was just looking like staring. His life just paused for six yeah. months. And he's back to Man, back to status quo. And um, to add more. Yeah. Um, basically, I think it's something that it's a culture amongst that. I think the parents, the new generation parents, should look into that. All you see, all that glitters is in gold. I'm being mm. very proverbial this afternoon. <laughs> so um, all the glitters is not gold. Oshpopi has the type of life that you see and you're like, wow, I want this life. Mm, but everybody. if it's not explainable, I don't think you should want it because you need... He says it's, he says it's, it's, it's a real stuff. thought, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't have, you don't have a, a track record of being in real estate. And um, even if you're a realtor, we've seen a lot of other realtors. We've seen people that sell houses in Miami. We've seen people that sell houses in very expensive eyebrow areas of the world and they don't live the type of lavish lifestyle. That is, so you're, if, saying, <coughs> you're saying he has not explained his world. Yes, exactly. and that's the same problem we have with motivational speakers. You tell us, speakers, even you people tell that us, even do this, do this, do that, do this, do this. But you, what did you do to get your first capital? None of them will ever tell you that, but they will be the first ones to tell Tell you how to go about your life i should go about my life with what capital how did you make yours you won't tell me okay do you understand like it's really <laughs> really disturbing and then nigerian youth as well i've seen somebody i was having a conversation with a friend and the person was like ah, i work nine to five i do this but look at me i have the worst car amongst all my friends they were telling you he was telling me that oh, and i was okay. like bro are you listening to yourself and he was talking about his friends that are internet fraud stars and i was like are you listening to yourself what did you call them internet fraud stars you work nine to five you're legitimate you have something to fall back on if that work stops paying them what do they have to fall back on so look back on so your life EFC reflect you and be grateful. Fish out internet for stars. You can. I said my friend. I don't know. I don't. My friend has even traveled out of the country. He traveled. I, I, I uh, we have a, a long guest time. on this episode of Tea Time. But let's go to a very quick break, and when we come back, we we'll carry on the conversation.